we're going to talk about some junior dragsters today. Uh, this is a Mike Boss car. This is a Fred Crawl motor, these 206s, and we put them on alcohol. Um, really, really performs good. Uh, when we get the cars, we go over them from head to toe. One of the things we found that really helps the chain life and friction is this Z-Max chain lube. Uh, we, we lube the car every school to keep friction down on the chain and help the wear of it. Uh, here in the last few months, Goodyear has bought Mickey Thompson. This Junior has a Mickey Thompson on it. But down here is a set of Goodyear Junior Dragster tires. And you see the strap and the holder that we use to tie our cars down in the trailer. Um, as we are working on here, we're changing oil and we're getting ready to put the Junior Dragster um, race oil back in here. It's a 520 oil. We change oil every day in this car at the school. When the car will take probably 20 runs a day. That's like you going racing for a weekend. Uh, as we move further forward down here, uh, I'm gonna sit down a minute and uh, show you a few things we have here. The lid's off this lupus oil that we're getting ready to put in the car. Um, and we have a measuring cup. We use roughly eight ounces of oil, eight to 10 ounces in our engine. And it's a good way to keep up with what you're doing with the amount of oil. Let me move this Coca-Cola cup out of the way. Uh, we have regular ribs and stratton engine like you have on your lawnmowers at home. Uh, this is also one of your engines such as that 206 that's on the car and it's hold on what's the name of this thing cutaway creations cutaway creations mm -hmm. are you ready mm -hmm. from having a gas tank carburetor air in flow in intake we had cutaway creations to do something for us so we can help train people in our school amount of engine. It's a cutaway engine. It shows you the fuel tank, intake, air, exhaust, shows the inside of the engine, the piston, the rod the crank it also also shows you a hook that's on the rod that picks the oil up and coats the cylinder wall the bearings and everything in it as you see it'll move up and down well like i said it'll move up and down you see that it shows you the piston going up and down in the engine. Shows you where the valves open and shut. And this is the 206 Bridge of Stratton drag, drag motor. Uh, Mike Boss puts them on the cars. We also have um, the next step up. We have the 890, 790 engines from Crawl, and this is how they come to us. You can see it's quite a bit bigger. Um, you see the bearing here for the shaft, for the clutch. You see the carburetor. It's on alcohol. It has an adjustment here. When you see people working at the back of the car and turning a little rubber hose, it's speeding up the engine or slowing it down. It has a really extended 
intake on it. That goes right in here, and you have the exhaust coming out. Side of the engine. Up here is the fire, which is the coil is mounted around on this side of the block and goes to the spark plug. You've got a vacuum, basically a vacuum pump here. You've got your fuel lines, a filter on it, and we're ready to go. You've got a heat probe that goes in the exhaust system. Everybody has a little computer on their car um, and it monitors the temperature. At the same time, people say, well, good gracious, how are you gonna crank this car? This right here, we just ordered a half a dozen starters. This has got the short shaft. This comes from Mike Burroughs out in California. Burroughs Racing. You can get them with the small batteries or you can get them lithium batteries. It changes the weight. It sticks on here with a socket and you spin the motor over and it fires up and runs. Now, we also use BP methanol. We also use BP race gas in our school cars. Um, having a good clean engine, keeping the engine serviced is one of the most important things to keep your car running and being consistent. And that's why we use the products we use, such as Lucas Oil, uh, C-Max on the chain, keeping it lubricated. And I feel like Mike Boss feels the best in the race that there is. But also, I've just bought back five or six cars that I have sold to customers. Um, I bought some boss cars. I bought some half-scale cars that I'd sold earlier. Uh, it's hard to get parts, equipment today. Uh, we've got cars sitting here that we go through from one end to the other. We've got three engines that'll be in here next week from Fred Crawl. And we start out with the small engines on methanol. We can weight the car down with lead, and as they grow older, we can speed them up by taking weight out. Uh, these cars will run 990 with the bridge extracting engine, and will be plenty fast enough, over 150, 55 mile an hour. So if you want to learn more about driving a car, not just being a driver, learn how to take care and keep your cars up. Help mom and dad out, grandpa and grandma. They're doing an awful lot to get you in this sport. And be sure and come to the Roy Hill Gregory School. Let's talk to him a little bit about our junior dragster camp, Roy. What, it, what does that entail? When is it? And why would you recommend the Roy Hill Drag Racing School for well, your juniors? The junior camp is totally different than our normal school. We got one coming up the 6th and 7th of June. Um, we have juniors, we have dragsters, we have door cars, we have people bringing their own cars. Uh, the 27th and 8th of June, we have a junior camp. That's something we've been doing for four years nothing but juniors and uh, this year we got a surprise guest gonna be there big daddy don garlics is bringing his great grandson to drive one of the roy hill cars and we have to be prepared for him to take it home with him because we know if he does good big daddy's gonna buy him one so that's the reason we got this brand new one sitting here ready to go and uh, we cranked it up and run some oil through it. And uh, we went to the track and run it just to make sure everything's good. We have test drivers around here. And uh, that's just one of the people that's coming. We've got numerous of people coming to be involved with the school. 
Robert Patrick is bringing his 13-year-old daughter, and um, we've got a car sitting up there. If she likes it and does well, she's going to carry a car home with her too. Robert, you be sure and remember, you're supposed to be here the 27th and 28th. Good luck. Come see Roy Hill.